Hey guys, it's the Sage here with a mock review. And guess who it is? That's right, it's the other Sage. I mean, not the other Sage. It is Toa Makolu, my self mock. So basically, in his story, which I do have a story for giving him his custom body design and all these upgrades and stuff. Basically, and this is a show that I have. That I did work on, but then array I mean, that I am working on. I have to build it, but basically on you know Windows Movie Maker. But look, this is basically the story. He landed on a planet, and but his symbiote powers basically knew because of his surroundings, because they're landing on a prison planet in the series that I'm going to make eventually they land on a prison planet, the Toas so they, the symbiote senses all these villains around him and knows that it won't be powerful enough to defeat them all so basically the symbiote upgrades itself and evolves and transforms Makolu's body makes it a whole lot stronger makes it more complex in every single way it also gives him more powers, more new powers that will be revealed in this story and the uh, you know episodes of this series that might be coming out if I live long enough to you know get it out basically I'll make it and uh well, yeah, so basically. It's uploading and it's uploading all these different data so it can become stronger. So basically, his his mask changed. It went through his memory banks and was able to find the Vorox mask that he used to wear. Yeah, for you guys who used to who are watching my stuff from the beginning. Basically, he had a, he originally had a Vorox mask. He is originally a Vorox Gladiatorian Toa warrior. So basically, it took a long time. It takes a while for it to evolve, so his mask won't be seen for a bit until the symbiote is finished uploading uploading the armor and the suits and all the new powers and stuff so basically that's the story now let's get to the first thing first things first I guess alright <clears throat> time for his weapon this is a nice weapon black rutaka blade display this thing right here this and this right here that's basically the weapon. I was, I did have a name for it, but I forgot it. Um, at the end of, at the end of the video, I'll try to remember it. This video, or and if I don't remember it, I'll just make a new name or something like that. Now let's get his other weapon out. <laughs> Alright, so this is his weapon, which is basically this nice gun. I don't know what. Oops. Sorry. Technical difficulties, folks. Anyway, it's a nice weapon. It has these three Gladiator game pieces. If anyone can tell me what this type of weapon is, I'll be able to make a good name for it. Alright. Now, to get to the mock itself. Basically, for articulation, we got right here, right here, you know, right here, right here, right here, right here. This is one thing it has, right here. Yeah. Um, no, no, um, waist articulation, though. It's the first custom body mock I've actually built that didn't have waist articulation. So, that's pretty cool. Um, and then, yeah. So, basically, that's how he holds his weapon. That's where he holds his weapon. And plus, this black, this black Paraka foot right here 
is what's holding all of his body. If I took this off, his his arms would fall down, basically. Now, for the pieces, let's go. Alright. We got a Montanui, a red Montanui piece. I think I got these particular ones from either Akar or Explode. But you get the idea, they're from Montanui, those Montanui leg pieces. These Metru feet, um, I think those are her Hordika legs or something. I don't know. Um, these pieces right here that you get on a scroll, they say. Another one of these, a red Metru chest plate, has a crotch plate. Um, this red Hordika foot has a armor of. A uh, painted Borok, black Borok mask, the Stronis, shoulder armor, black box. But. So that's basically, that's basically the box itself. Mkolu was originally told of the hunt, then I sort of changed the story a bit. Basically, in my universe, all Toas begin as Matoran. But once they want to become Toa, they are basically put in training. Once they finish training, they put them in these pods, they put them in cryostasis, and they experiment with all these different energies and powers. And then once they hatch them out, they are automatically Toa. So, basically, the basically cryo warriors that got hatched. A symbiote got into his, and that's what basically became him Toa. So, symbiote.